it's Jody. So today I'm going to do a quick little video on how I like to finish my cross stitch Halloween ornaments. Um, but before I do, I wanted to let you know that I have four new Halloween kits coming out next week on July 8th. They will be hitting my Etsy shop then and I'm doing a giveaway. So the link to enter the giveaway is in the show notes. Um, and you might be a lucky winner and get a free kit. So when you enter, you have to pick which kit you want. So I wanted to let you know what the four new kits look like. So the first one is one that I showed you in progress in my last video. So now it's done. And this is the Creepy Crawly kit. Um, she's this sort of really beautiful, spooky, glamorous spider. Um, so that's that one. Then we have uh, Eye of Newt, which is like a little classy potion bottle um, filled with fun bubbly green liquid and a spooky eye on it. Uh, and then this one I have a feeling is going to be very popular. This is Little Batty. I just love bats. I think they're so, so cute. And so I had to do a bat ornament this year. Um, and he's really sparkly and fun. If you turn him upside down or right side up, uh, you can see his funny little expression. I just think he's too cute. And then the last one is, go figure, my favorite, which is a cat. Uh, this one I call cat lantern and he's sort of, he's like part cat, part pumpkin, part clown, I don't know, he's just very Halloween-y, uh, and I don't know, he kind of has like a Tim Burton sort of vibe, I think, which is really cool. Uh, so anyway, those are the four new ones. Don't you want to win one? All you have to do is go to the link in the show notes to enter. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to finish them. They're super easy and fast and you'll be making ornaments in no time. Okay, so to finish this ornament, you're going to need, first of all, your stitched ornament front. Um, then you're going to need something to cut it out with. I like to use an X-Acto blade, but, um, if you don't have one or you're not comfortable with X-Actos, then just a really good sharp pair of craft scissors works just fine. Um, and then just a couple drops of any kind of white glue, Elmer's tacky glue, whatever you have, um, a Sharpie, a pencil, and some black thread to make the hanger. You can use embroidery floss, but I like um, to use something a little bit stronger, which is something like this um, black sewing thread. And then obviously if you're going to do it on a, um, if you're going to cut it with an X-Acto, then you'll want to use some sort of a, a cutting mat. And then the backing is um, this black felt, which is sticker paper. So on the back side, it has this paper backing and then you can peel it off and this side is sticky. Uh, this brand I get at Joanne Fabrics. Um, it's the brand name is Kunin Felts, uh, and they make a couple of different weights. I like this one, which is the stickers version. So, okay, let's get started.
So that's it. Totally easy, right? You can do that. No problem. Um, anyway, like I said, enter the giveaway. If you want to know the second that these new kits come out, Facebook, Instagram, newsletter, all those links are below. And um, yeah, maybe you'll win a kit. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.